first off, if you're new to my YouTube channel, my name is Michelle Arifin and I love fashion. So today I wanted to show you something very, very special. It hasn't even hit the stores yet because this is an exclusive preview for Mornot. And right now I'm in Chicago in the club of Saks Fifth Avenue. So here we can see a few very exclusive pieces that haven't even been posted on Moynot's website even. So you'd be one of the first to purchase if you were to buy it in Chicago this weekend. Well, did you look at that? This tote is a perfect size to put Aston in. And if you don't know already, Aston is my very, very cute Cavalier King Charles. Ooh, this is the men's backpack, but actually it could be also used for women. Let's see. It's a little big on me, but I think it would fit my husband more. But like, look at this, it's so cute. My personal favorite though is this one because I can use it on a daily basis and you can even get painting on here and you can have anything you want painted on it. I'll show you a little sneak peek. Like inside it looks like this. It's cloth inside, you can wipe it off and this is the outside, it's super light. I'm super excited to have you here and to it, get to kind of like explore the world of Moynat with you. So Moynat is a really cool heritage French label. So they're actually 25 years older than Louis Vuitton and they were one of the first luxury labels to be out of Italy. Wow. So they started as a molletier or trunk maker in Paris, just like Vuitton. And they started with a watertight waterproof canvas. We're obviously very familiar. Um, and it's just a really cool small brand. So they've been around for a really long time, super small, and um, they ended up getting bought up by LVMH, they're owned by LVMH, and they brought in a new creative director, and they're kind of starting to explode, so it's cool. Other reason I love Wina is they're only found at two places in the continental United States. And where, are, where is that? So they are found at a South Coast Plaza boutique in California and Saks in New York. So that's why here in Chicago yeah. we're able to have them here and have our unauthorized unauthorized way now to as we call it in my playroom. Obviously we have a truck show going on right now, so we get a lot more than usual, but yeah, no, it's, it would be a strange day if I didn't have a bag in my room. So these are just a couple of styles. This is the mini luggage coat. I love her. This is actually crafted and made by one person in their trunk making studio in France, so similar to like the Petit Mall for Bhutan. Yeah. And the other thing that I love about this, and personally for me, kind of edges out Bhutan a little bit, you can actually fit a phone in this bag. <laughs> and you can actually fit two phones in this bag. I know, right? Like, and don't we all love being able to carry our phone in our bag? I think the day of um, Jacqueline's torture is finally over for a little bit. <laughs> And the other thing I love, too, is with all the card-sided bags, they actually create card holders, too. So you Ooh, don't, yeah. yeah. So you don't have to, like, think about, oh my gosh, like, which wall am I going to carry, blah, 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 blah. Like, they've thought of it for you, which I think is really cool. And it actually says multiple cards. As you can see, it's pretty spacious. Cards, cash, like, mm -hmm. all of it, which is great. So it's nice that there's, like, a lucky brand that's, like, actually thinking about these things yeah. instead of just being like, hi, we're going to make the tiniest bags in the world and you're going to deal with it because it's cute. Thanks, have a nice day. I'm you know what I mean? Oh, I'll do it too. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm not. I'm not out here like on some moral crusade. Like, believe me, Carl Overbaugh got me to buy a couple foolish things over the years. <laughs> a brass shopping basket. Um, other new. So this is the Gabrielle Clutch. So this is actually a um, like an East West version of their kind of flagship bag. Of course, it reminds me of Kelly, which is why it's great. So the M is here for Gabrielle Moynaz. So to actually get in and out of the bag, it twists. Other thing I love about this bag versus like a Kelly cut is that it's a Oh, that's so convenient. So it's smart. Yeah, I think we have one here. Yeah, that and the black over right. gold hardware. Oh, look at that. Straps adjustable, so it can go from like a short shoulder to like a fun sporty crossbody. Yeah. And they also leave all of the leather, um, the holes just long enough, so if you are more petite, you can just have extra holes punched in it. Oh, amazing. And this logo reminds me of Epsom. It's got like an Epsom kind of vibe to it in terms of durability. Other thing I love with these bags too, they're actually all lined in natural raw hide leather. Oh, wow. So the quality is like absolutely insane. Um, all of your glazing is done by hand, all the stitching is done by hand. So this is kind of the version of like Intermez Gold, if you will. That's yeah. the black. 
And then this is their green tortorel, which is obviously similar to like the Vuitton tortorel. Um, all of the hardware is either gold or palladium. So similar to all of us that are age lovers out there, we kind of know what's going on. Yeah. So this, they're like the new kid, if you will, and I'm kind of obsessed with them, and I will probably end up buying one at some point this year. Because I was obsessed with the mini luggage tote, I sold it to like my clients and then I just kind of buy them myself. So, you know. So can you tell me also a little bit more about the pop-up? It starts tomorrow, Yeah, right? so our pop-up starts tomorrow. It's going to be running through this weekend. So we are the only sack store in the history of the company besides a brand store that does a pop-up. Wow. So this is our second one. We're going to have them one out to you here. I have exotics coming, which I'm very excited about. Thanks to the Himalayans and some limited edition pieces that are crazy. Mm -hmm. And they're actually playing in a painter too, which is really oh, that's cool. So, interesting. so and they're gonna be doing like live on-site painting for new purchases. So they can do paint on leather and on canvas, which is really cool. SLGs, bags, all of it. We've got more stuff coming. I'm sure I'm missing all kinds of boxes. Upstairs, so we're the store, and the other cool thing that they're launching with us too is going on lens. So this collection has not even officially launched yet, which is why I love going on. Yeah. So I think it's like December 16th or something. This collection drops, and we are literally the first one in the world to have it. That's I so sold cool. two pieces yesterday. So my one client that bought this bag, he is literally the first one, not just in like the world of sacks, but like legit. The world yeah, that's so it, nice. Which is cool. So. It's nice when your people take care of it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so this is a new colorway that's exclusive for men. So it's like a blue and a slightly like kind of matte mahogany. And then we also, and this has a shoulder strap too. Mm -hmm. Because so many times that like the top handle to a bag don't have a shoulder strap and then you're just like lugging your way through life. I feel like my dog will really like go in that bag. Uh, yes. It's like the perfect okay. size for I him. I honestly fully support that. Yeah. And then the best thing to do would be have the painter paint your dog on yeah, the back so then so it's like an ultimate better moment. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> and cute. then backpack. This is new too. Also part of the men's collection. I love this. For me, I probably would use this. I'm a little bit more dainty of a person than this, but my <laughs> husband, oh my god, totally. Pockets everywhere. The one I'm the most obsessed about is that there's like a secret, secret back pocket. Yeah. I was like, dude, this is like actually kind of great. So, hopefully my husband doesn't watch this. And it's Merry Christmas Eve. This is what you're doing. Uh, but yeah, so waterproof canvas, leather trimming, it's all the same quality that like we know and love from Luna, but now it's just like in a slightly cooler, Thing, but even though it's a mess collection, like, I don't get a lot of vibe from it. You no, know what I mean? It's not like, it. yeah, it's not like yeah. so specific. It's not like a, like a fantasy tweed camellia bag, you know what yeah. I mean? Where you're like, mm. I thought we have this too. Yeah. And, the, and so this is the men's pattern. And then for reference, this is like their classic monogram. Mm -hmm. So this guy has like that kind of bronzy gold and then a little bit of like a toby brown. And then this guy's got the blue and then the mahogany. So it's really cool. All of the leather is tonal too. The thing that I love about this brand, besides the quality, is the fact that you literally can get it anywhere. Yeah. So it's kind so of like the it. ultimate insider brand. Yeah. I mean, like, you go to Europe all over Europe, but in the States in particular, it is more exclusive. But I mean, exclusive to me can be a little like, you know what I mean? <laughs> what I love is that it's an insider brand. You've got to know the brand. Whenever I'm carrying yeah. a Winnow bag and someone stops me and they're literally like, oh my god, is that Winnow? I'm like, you and I, we instill it each other. For yeah. a reason that multiple people don't understand. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, totally. So that's what I love about them. So that's a men's version. And then this is the Wee Mons. And then they're all canvas lined, dual top zip, which is great. Easy to get in and out of when you're yeah. carrying. And they have a thicker leather strap. So you actually have pockets on the inside too. So you can like actually fit things in here. And it is a 12, like you can get with some of our men's bags on the inside, but it's also been treated, which is nice yeah, too. So it's easier to keep going. Yeah. And yeah, these run like I think just under two thousand, so they're not crazy. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. For like a throw and go kind of bag, I, I love them. Yeah. They're actually, a little surprised I remember that one this year. We also have some colorful bags. Here. Yeah. Similar to another brand we know and we love. These are in a leather, and they're actually all reversible. Oh as well, wow. Too. Can we try to? Yeah. Them? We'll try. Oh my god, I did that one yesterday, and let me tell you, it was a struggle. Oh, no. Wait, let's try cool. this together. Cause I, mm, We'll have all the stuffing. Yeah. Let's see. I promise these are reversible. I'm not just making this up, but I also will not promise that I'm not going to struggle all these. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, now that I say that, I'm going to fix this up. 
This is like the first reversible leather mat that I've ever made. Well, your art's been doing them for a really long time, too. Oh, right, right. I almost forgot about that. I, I know. I just never reversed mine. It, I got it. But yeah, so they fully reverse leather to leather. I think the mess is, has been doing a version of this for a while. I can't remember the model name. But I just love it. And I love that you can get like a fall color on one side and then the winter color on the other. Or spring. Wow. It's like it's a two in one. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's in like I'm beautiful really leather. Like, Okay, maybe it's, maybe it's just that. Yeah, it's okay. Well, you know, you can see one of them. Maybe it's just that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so this is the reversible, full grain leather. Love them. Simple, quiet branding. That's kind of one of the best appeals of this brand. It's like that almost no one knows what it is. Yeah. So it's like, you just get to appreciate the fact that you have a nice bag and other people can appreciate that you have a nice bag, but it's not like... You know, and I have a whole closet full of these bags, <laughs> so. Mm. I don't blame you. <laughs> exactly. This so, one has a nice on it too. Yeah. So this is actually, um, this one is hand painted, but they also do marquetry too, which is like the piecing of the leather together, which is really cool. So I have a couple marquetry pieces that are coming. Very nice. So, yeah. So this is just a little small selection of what's coming, but we have more coming. Yeah. Too, which I'm really excited about. I see we have these colorful ones yes. too, with so many colors. Oh my god, yeah. Literally, I wish I remembered the name of this bag. This is doing a terrible job of plugging things for this brand, but it is so beautiful. It's so it's simple. It's so Yeah, it's a really, really, really good leather. Um, and on the inside, it's all like butter on the inside too. Mm -hmm. And then um, all handmade leather, all you know, done by hand. The stitching is impeccable. It's got the raw hide on the inside. Yeah. And then what's cute too is with the hardware too, it's even the shape of the metal. Yeah, I actually really like the hardware in there, so it doesn't like flap out or something. Yeah. Out. See? Exactly. And then it also has a back strap or a little back pocket too oh, for yeah. your phone, which is great. Right. It's just like a, I tried this on yesterday. It sits really nicely. It doesn't like weirdly protrude from your side. It's just like easy. Yeah. It's great. You know okay. what I mean? I also really like this trunk. Yes. So that is called the vanity case, I think is what that one is. So it's similar to the luggage, but obviously it's a little bit larger based on their vanity cases. Ooh, that's a magnet. Yeah. So similar on the inside too, you get the card holder that's included. Mm -hmm. It's all done in the trunk making studio, which is amazing, and has a touch stuff too. Oh wow. Yeah. 